guys welcome back today I'm going to paint a well I'm going to attempt to paint a sunset scene on the beach and this is a, a piece of cradled wood by Fredericks and I've just taken off the canvas um, cover and then covered it with a couple layers of gesso and then sanded it down with this sanding block I have uh, taped off my horizon and made a little circle here for my sun so that part stays really nice and bright. Um, I'm really not sure what colors I'm going to go with. Um, I'm just going to use like what I normally use and this is going to be an oil painting by the way. So I'm going to start with some white. Cad yellow, blizzard and crimson, Payne's gray. Probably did not need that much, and Viridian green. That's just what I'm going to start with. I don't know what else I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to start around the sun and work my way out. So around the sun, I know I want light colors. So I'm going to use this uh, Deco Filbert brush uh, from the Enchanted set. And I have a squeaky chair, so just don't pay any attention to it. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I need WD-40 so bad. So I'm just going to start around my little circle. Wipe off my brush a little and I want to make sure I keep this really light right around it. I'm using very little pressure on my brush, just enough to kind of blend those colors together, but not too much because I'm really trying to do like a, a loose style for this painting it's not I'm not trying to make it like um, super detailed or anything like that just really light pressure and guys this is why I usually do like a voiceover for my tutorials because I start rambling and then I get embarrassed. I'm like, why did I say that? I'm going to use this um, mop brush from Hobby Lobby. It's just a tiny one. Just to kind of blend that together a little bit more. That may be too much of a glow around that. I don't know yet. I have to wait and see how the rest of it looks. But now I'm going to start to add more alizarin crimson. Plus the yellow. And I'm going to start on the uh, in the white and then work my way into that color. That is really, really red. Or orange. That is a bit much. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to <laughs> right, do something about that. That's a lot. Um, I'm going to grab some Indian yellow. And Cad Red. I think that alizarin crimson is a bit too much. Let's switch to a bigger brush. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> I can still see my old horizon line behind there, so um, perhaps uh, giving this a, an underpainting, like an acrylic underpainting first would have been a good idea, but I didn't do that and I'm not going to start over, so we're just going to have to deal with that line. <laughs> Make sure I've got all my paint wiped off this brush, most of it. Oh boy, that line is killing me. <clears throat> Let's just go with it. <clears throat> now we need, now I need some color up here, so I'm going to go with Viridian Green, Lizard Crimson, and White. That's going to give me like this bluish green. Um, I'm going for more of a gray though, so I need more uh, white. Let's get rid of some of that green by using the red. Hopefully that'll be enough. Grab another clean brush. <clears throat> I'm not sure that's going to be enough paint. It's not. I 
don't know why I put that over there. Green, alizarin, crimson. That is too much green. I need enough of this because whatever color I paint my sky, that's what my water is going to be too. So we want to have enough of all of the colors. It's a little different, but it's okay. Probably could stand to use a slightly bigger brush, but and now I'm going to start working this up into that gray, grayish blue, whatever. I went too close, so I'll have to fix that. I'm just sweeping my brush right over top of that blue color and just kind of dragging it out this way. I don't think I've ever painted anything like this before. I've never like used these two colors together. Uh, <laughs> I may have painted like one or two other beach scenes like ever. I've been painting since 2017. Uh, beach scenes just not something that I'm all that interested in. I do like the beach but I don't really feel super interested in like in painting them. Um, I'm going to make a couple of these look like clouds, I guess, and a little bit bigger. Kind of soften it up with this brush. Get that hair out of there. I'll have to fix all of this around the sun a little bit because that that orange is still too orange. So I'm going to go right over top of it and then brighten it back up again because I need to blend all of this. It might look okay after I take the the dot off of there. I don't know yet. Mm. I don't know if I could do that same motion this way because I'm right-handed. <laughs> I'll try.
You can't see that line now, so that's good. I was real worried about that. I really kind of messed this up when I used that alizarin and crimson right there. Um, I don't know. It might be okay. Uh, I'm going to brighten up the horizon just a little by adding white. Oh, that had some other colors in it. Guys, I promise next time I will put WD-40 on my chair <laughs> before I start another tutorial. This is, I don't know if that's annoying for you guys, but it's annoying for me, so... Okay, um, I hope I don't regret grabbing that yellow again. Clean brush because that one's got a lot of that gray blue in it. Let's see what that looks like. I still have to do some more blending, but... It's nice and bright. All right, I'm going to grab a little brush. I'm only going to use white, but my brush is going to start to um, blend into the colors around it. So I'm going to get some of that color on this brush, but I'm just going to start with white. I'm going to go around the edges of my circle and pull that paint into the blank white area. Wipe it off. Grab a little more white just to really make sure that that middle stays nice and bright. I want this to look really soft. I don't want there to be like a hard, hard round edge. I like it. I do feel like I went a little too orange around the sun, but I don't know. It may be okay. Um, so I'm going to move on to the hard part. <laughs> the hard part for me. I'm going to use the same colors. And what I did up here was I painted it blue and then I painted the yellow or the uh, like orange over top of it. So that's what I'm going to do here.
and I want a lot of orange right underneath the sun. I'm going to brighten this up quite a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to start sweeping some of the orange. Really close together in the background further away. I'm going to try. This is a really small piece of wood. I didn't want to paint on anything too big because if this went south then I didn't want to waste like a really big canvas because I'm not that confident with, whoops, that's a lot of paint. I'm not that confident with painting uh, oceans and stuff, so. I want to blend some of this in the background a little bit so I'm just going to take this same brush that I used up here and I'm very lightly going to drag across just to kind of blur it a little bit so that it doesn't look like there's too many details. I'm, I wish I could describe better how much pressure I'm putting on this but like I'm just barely, barely touching it. just to make it look a little blurry back there. All right, I'm gonna go back in with some more blue. I'm holding my brush like this, like not flat, but just like on the side. And just tapping it.
And I'm going to take a little tiny liner brush from the Deco Fine Detail Set. Make a couple of little dots of white, like pure white. I'm always like trying to encourage people to step outside their comfort zone and paint things that they don't normally paint. But like, it's easier said than done. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, so I need to make like a little, little wave here and I need that part to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna use some Payne's Gray. I'm going to go back in here and add a few more shadows as well with this color. I may not have mixed up enough, I don't know. And then I'm just going to wiggle my brush and blend that back into the rest of the paint a little bit. <clears throat> oh, that's dark. That is dark back there. That's okay. I'm just going to add a couple places. I hope these waves aren't getting too big for this small scene. I'm making, so I'm starting to form like waves now. So these side, this side of the waves are going to be this darker color. And then this side is going to be the light orange. And then like the surface of the water where it's just kind of flat is the sky. I don't know if that's right, but it kind of makes sense in my head. <laughs> So if that's not right, I don't know. If it's not right, let me know in the comments because uh, any help I can get painting water, I'll be more than happy to uh, take your advice and learn from you guys as well. One more time with the orange, make sure I've got like this side of the wave. I don't want these waves too big though. I feel like they're already getting a little too large for this tiny little painting. I 
out so I got I think I got too much blue in that but it might be okay I'm just going to drag this paint straight down. This is going to be like the wet part of the sand. So some raw umber, some white, a little bit of that yellow. It's not dark enough. Mm. I want this sand to be pretty dark just so I have like a good contrast. And now I'm going to use a little bit of liquid light gel. If I can find a clean spot. I'm dipping it out with this because every time I pour it, it gets um, all over the edges and then when I put the lid back on, it dries together. And I've had to throw away quite a few of those bottles of liquid gel because I absolutely cannot get the lid back off. Uh, so this is just a little brush that I got at Walmart. It's um, just a flat, it's real soft. And uh, I'm going to dip it in my liquid gel. And I want to make this part uh, real nice and thin so that it uh, streaks better, I guess, kind of like this. And I'm going to drag straight down, starting in the Y, and then work my way over. I'm going to put just a little more white right here. And a little bit more orange. And a little bit 
more brown. <clears throat> I'm gonna wipe this brush off. And then I'm gonna do that one more time. Very light pressure on the canvas, like I'm barely touching it. And now I'm gonna sweep from side to side. I'm gonna try to start in the white and go out first. I don't know, how's it look so far? Does it look okay? <laughs> I hope it looks okay. I don't think it looks bad, but it's definitely not my best work. So I feel like I'm getting carried away right here and I'm going to overdo it. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit of white like this, just little specks on my brush and just barely touch the canvas. Try not to overdo it. Right, I'm going to stop before I get too carried away again. And now I think I've only got one more thing I got to do, and that's make like a little bit of a little foamy area here. I'm going to grab some white and another filbert brush from the Deco set. I'm going to use various pressure across here. So like right now I'm pushing kind of hard and then I barely touch it and then push hard again. I'm just like, and I'm moving my brush around. Like rolling it kind of. I don't want this, this line here to be. Too straight or anything like that. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to blend that back into the water just a little. Like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, I'm trying to keep this like really loose, like 
kind of abstract, I guess, but like not, not going for like hyper realistic here. And I'm probably saying that because I can't paint water. <laughs> so, you know, oh, I meant to paint it like this, right? Like I meant to paint it like really loose and abstract because <laughs> that gets me off the hook. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> All right. uh, a little more. Through here. Just kind of sweeping that back into the water. Now the last thing. <clears throat> I'm going to use this really small liner brush and some of that liquid gel, what I've got left of it, which is not much, and the brown. I've got a huge hair right here. And now I'm going to paint that little shadow that goes underneath those, these little, little parts of the wave. I'm not going to do it everywhere, just few places. Very light pressure. I feel like that's too much right there, so I'm going to break it up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it, and tell me what you think. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's video, give that like button a tap, and please consider subscribing. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I upload content almost daily. Thank you for watching.